so a bit of an adventure ahead. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. Quite lucky because I've got a delivery to make uh, going off to the west coast of Wales. The village, I think you call it Twin, which is near, uh, well, south of Snowdonia. And then I'm going to take the opportunity to drive into the mountains and uh, do a bit of running. So uh, it's Friday. Hopefully going to try maybe a bit of running tonight if I have a bit of time. And then uh, tomorrow do a long run. Problem is, weather has turned. Uh, not a good weather forecast. Anyway, let's see how we go. So I've got to Snowdon. It's about quarter to three. A bit later than I wanted to be. Um, but I'm going to go and uh, have a go, see how far I get up. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Let's check it out. See how we go. Half an hour in, uh, two and a half miles. I'm hoping that's Snowdonia up there. Could be achievable if it is. Um, just in case you're wondering, I am prepared. Um, I've got obviously water, I've got uh, gels, I've got headlamp plus spare torch plus another torch, I've got a waterproof jacket, I've got a compass whistle, a survival blanket, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I've pretty much got everything I need. I've obviously got my navigation. I don't have a map, a paper map. So if my watch uh, breaks down, um, I'm not using it now, but this path is, well, it's described as a motorway. I wouldn't exactly say it was a motorway, but in the terms of paths, it's pretty good. So confident what I've got to do. And if it does get dark, I'm pretty confident how to get back down. So um, looking good so far. Get steep now, so I've uh, started to walk. It is dead still. Up the top, it is really, really windy. So, you got to be very, very careful. I'm top of Snowdon, all good. Now I'm gonna head down. Been about an hour up here, um, and it's probably gonna take me 45 minutes to go down, and there's not much um, biz at all at the moment up here, but all good, and uh, awesome. So it's just getting dark now. Just got back down from Snowdon. First time I've um, summited that, pretty cool. Uh, a bit further than I thought, it's about eight and a half miles um, and I took about an hour and 15 to run up it and then ran down in about 45 minutes. So definitely achievable, you know, sort of in, in the two hour mark. Yeah, felt good. Legs feel a little bit tired, but all good really. And um, I took my pack for the first time, my Raid Light one, the one I'm using at uh, MDS. So that worked out really well. Um, ran with my hard bottles first time I've done that for a long run and they are great and they fit really nicely really comfortable pleased about that uh, what was a disappointing thing about it was my GoPro that thing just does not like the cold it gets it's got 40% battery and then just goes dead so I hopefully got a bit of stuff at the summit otherwise uh, a bit disappointing there yeah so uh, took all my kit so that was good although it was a really quick trip um, I did take my phone as well, which was fully charged, but I didn't tell someone what I was going to go and do. But there were quite a few people up there and still coming down now, so hopefully they've got headlamps and stuff like that. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, I'm going to now hole up. I've got an Airbnb booked, so I'm going to go and find that and uh, chill out and uh, find the local pub. Apparently it's called The Heights. Some bloke at the top of the uh, mountain told me. So, nice. This weekend I'm trying out a few things for MDS, so this is my... Uh, one of my packet freeze-dried mills I'm trying it is uh, 
Uh, gorgonzola spinach sauce. What I meant to say was it's gorgonzola, not gorgonzola. It's like a pasta, a vegetarian one. And uh, I've got to say, it's bloody good. It's from Lyo, we recommended these. Um, basically, open it up, pour 270 mils worth of water in, but obviously you're not gonna know that when we're out in MDS, so there's a little fill line here, boiling water, leave it for 10 minutes, stir it really well, and uh, yeah, it's good. Calories, that is important. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, what's it say here? Small pack, 399 calories. So hoping for a few more than that, because um, if this is my evening meal, it's not really gonna fill me up. Anyway. It's good. I'm uh, about to go and do the Snowdon Marathon route now. Uh, weather's it's a little breezy, but nothing like it was uh, planned for the forecast a week ago. So it's cleared up quite a bit. It's quite low cloud cover. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, totally out of my comfort zone on my own. But I've done the necessary preparation, I reckon. Uh, fitness isn't the issue. It's the uh, when I'm above the clouds, making sure Viz is all right and uh, I don't get lost. But I've got my uh, Shinto, so I've got the navigation on that. Um, and there's going to be plenty of people out there, so uh, I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, so see how I get on. Wind's picked up already and I haven't even got high. So, uh, got to my first, first summit. A low one, this one. Yeah, it's uh, pretty windy up there, as you can hear. You ready? And this isn't the highest one. So have these up, these summits are quite good. They have these little walled areas and uh, you can take a bit of respite in here. I'm gonna crack on because it's still early days. So I've come over the other side of the, the mountain and uh, it's dead quiet, absolutely serene in the clouds and uh, it's gorgeous. So I've got a stone in my shoe, so I'm just gonna stop and uh, sort that out. One of the key things you get told and you should do is any sign of a problem, blister, anything like that, sh you know, stone in the shoe, sort it straight away because it will only get worse. So I'm at my first waypoint, uh, 5.9 miles, hour and a half. It is definitely, uh, I don't know, I've never done this before, so, well, I've done lakes in the day, but that was a course, so I'm all on my own. I'm relying on my Sunto, nav's pretty good, and uh, yeah, it's pretty slippery on the rocks. These these trainers, they're, they're great trainers, but just really slippery. Um, it's probably the, the dirt and the weather and everything like that, but I could do with a bit more grip, so I'm running on the grass. Yeah, haven't seen many people around, so um, I'm just gonna crack on. All good, gonna take a bit of water, just uh, get my breath back and, uh, and start off again. So when you run in the clouds, all of a sudden like a mountain peak appears, I don't know if you can see it, um, it just appears out of nowhere. So it's all clouds and then, wow. OMG, I've just run all the way down that and my waypoint stops and I've got to run all the way back up again now, I don't believe it. It's obviously part of the marathon and they bring you down here and put you back up the top just to put the uh, distance on. Gutted, because that was a good seven or eight minutes of steep downhill. Okay, let's crack on. Right, let's have a little update. 
nine miles in. Uh, feeling legs pretty tired now. And uh, who are I to thinking about whether or not I can do the whole thing. It's a beast. Um, but I'm gonna crack on to the next summit and uh, see people along the way and just ask, you know, what's what's what. I'm, I'm not the type of one to give up, so I'm gonna keep going. But um, this is easy now, there's no wind, I'm low level. It's when you get up the top and you're on your own, it's pretty full on. So, see how I fare? Update you in a bit. There's the path up to Snowden. It's quite gnarly. I think that the right decision today is not to go and run the Snowden Marathon and um, the weather's pretty poor and um, I haven't got enough food it's three hours in and I haven't even got up to the second peak yet I'm doing just climbing up Snowden now so I'm gonna have a goo gel get up the top enjoy it and uh, just put this down to experience which is brilliant and uh, you know I'll be I'll be at least another hour so that'll be four hours on the go and yeah I think uh, I've done well Quick note to self, when I did the lakes in the day, one of the biggest mistakes I made was I didn't put my trousers on and get suited up before it was too late. So you end up getting caught out and it's just too windy to do anything. You get cold hands, it just becomes a bit of a disaster. So that's what I've done. Sorted out, looking forward to getting to the summit now. <sighs> How are we doing? We're there. Right. It's a bit busy at the top. A bit busy at the down Snowden now, nearly at the end, probably got another, well you can see Lamberis in the distance, oh I'm hungry, really hungry, those gels just don't knock it and I didn't bring any food, hence one of the reasons why I'm coming down, um, I'm craving fish and chips at the moment, so hopefully there's a uh, fish and chip shop open in Lamberis. You waiting for someone? Am I pleased to see that? Oh. Mega. I'm gonna go and get find some fish and chips. Just spoke to someone, there's a fish and chip shop in there, it's not open, there's a, a world famous calf. So I'm gonna go and hunt that down.
so good. Right, um, I'm going to do a little debrief on my adventure this weekend, really. Um, I think definitely need better prep. So, uh, nutrition wise, I, today I didn't have any solid food and I wish I had. Um, so, I got really hungry after about sort of two hours. Um, gels just aren't enough for me, so I need to make sure I'm carrying, um, carrying the right food. Definitely needed waterproof gloves. Um, it, was, it was really cold up there. My hands got really wet. My fingers, I probably, my, yeah, pretty much my fingers went numb. Um, so that was a bit of concern. Fitness wise, I'm not that bothered about that. Um, that will come for MDS. Definitely I'll get better at that. And um, yeah, I didn't take a map either, which was a bit daft. And so that, I was thinking about that quite a lot when I was running. Um, I've got my Sunto and that's got nav, but if that breaks, I was gonna be in a bit of trouble. The weather up there is definitely to be respected. Um, I saw some crazy people walking up in just, you know, a puffer jacket and a pair of jeans and they, they won't get to the top. It was super windy up there, 30, 40 mile an hour winds, pretty cold as well, probably about two degrees at the top, but quite warm down here. So the difference in, in environment is massive. So yeah, uh, all in all though, it went well, um, and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I think, um, you know, I'd recommend it. I wanted to do the whole uh, Snowden Marathon course today, but there's no chance. Um, if I was going with someone else, maybe in better prep, I probably would have pulled it off. But um, 16 miles took me just over four hours, I think. And it's on Strava, so check it out. But yeah, it was a good thing. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea, just have a fish and chips. And uh, I, think, I think one thing which you do know when you're doing this stuff, which I love, um, is the community. Even though you don't know anyone, when you're coming down Snowdonia and it's really, really windy and you sit down, someone always says, oh, you're right. You know, there's always a bit of help. And also you'll feel like when you're coming down the mountain, you're kind of doing the same thing. You're all achieving the same kind of goal because um, it is the environment up there today was brutal. And uh, it's a fair play to the people who are trying to go up um, because I think a lot of people would turn back, um, especially the way they were dressed. Anyway, cup of tea um, and I'm going to head home.